What is going on? I want to thank you for coming by to vape with a Viking. So today what I got for you is the last, sadly, of the Gorilla Fruits line by ENB. No, ENB. Right there. So anyway, we have uh, the Gorilla Fruits. We're going to do the Mango. And then, of course, uh, Mango Ice as well. So uh, we're going to run this on the Mech Life Arcless with... Uh, Johanna haven't reviewed it yet, but I've tried a couple juices and so far it's doing really good in flavor reproduction Yeah, there we go uh, But yeah, basically the flavor so far has been spot-on with a couple of the juices that I have tried and know Really well and I use almost every day. So it's a good test to see whether I would like this in a device I've been using for months. So fresh wicks I almost never show you that just because, well, I just, I talk too much. <laughs> so we're going to do the regular mango first, of course. And this is a, uh, a 1-5 build in there, which uh, these were actually coils that, uh, oh, those coils I made, they're a fused Clapton. All right. So let's give this a shot, see what we think of that. Huh. Uh, kind of full disclosure on that, I have actually, almost all the Gorilla Fruits so far, I have found were good on RDAs, and uh, but great, the whole fruit line, great on an RTA, especially like the Blotto I use every day. I didn't like this. I actually used a little bit of it even in the blotto and uh, it was like, uh, it kind of tastes like that weird, almost funky, I don't know, shoe, sock thing. It just, it just, it didn't taste like, like mango and chained. Uh, I really, that was like one of the only mango vapes that I absolutely just loved and destroyed. This is good though, in an RDA. And maybe it's the device as well, or the build, or whatever, because I do know in the uh, Blotto it's a little, it's a little lower. It's like a one, two in there. Um, but now, instead of like with Mango Unchained, it was a fresh mango, but it just had a good amount of sweet in there, like not to candy, but it was it was a good, really super sweet fresh mango. This, on the other hand, you get sweet, but it's nothing like really sweet but I almost get almost like a butter like a butter I mean it's like it's it's a creaminess but it's like a it's like a real creaminess it's not like somebody had added some kind of milk or um, you know some kind of cream flavoring it, it almost it almost tastes like butter <laughs> to be honest it's it's like for a millisecond almost kind of tastes kind of like suntan lotion but it's not, it's, it's just, you get that kind of buttery, almost cocoa nut-ish on there. But yeah, it's it's actually really good. So I'm I'm thoroughly, thoroughly thrilled because I was not liking this in, you know, the like two mils I threw in the, in the Blotto. Oh yeah, yeah, I, yep, and I'm gonna, the, thoroughly destroy that bottle now <laughs> so uh one thing i would definitely recommend then on the mango or the gorilla fruits line try them all in rta they're they're all amazing in rta but so far the gorilla fruits mango definitely try that on a dripper first the rest of them rtas honestly just you'll tear them up in an rta now the ice should be not as bad as I normally take ices because so far all of the and this is this last one is all of the ice lines they just have you know that touch of eucalyptus ice it's 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 like that you know it's not a it's not really a cool lot because it's not a cool effect it's you know maybe I don't know I've never actually had full-on WS 23 somebody says it some people say it tastes a little different than culotta so Maybe that's what it is. They just have some WS23 in there. Let's give that a shot. Yeah, and again, just like with all of the fruits line, 
it, it kind of brings down the flavor, the main flavor, a touch. And then you just get this, just like kind of hint. Uh, and the longer you vape on it, actually a little more intense it gets, but it never gets like, oh, intense. <laughs> but uh, it does get that kind of eucalyptus WS23 cooling kind of flavor in there. And it, like I said, it just kind of mutes down the mango, what it was originally in non-ice. Yeah, it's still good. Um, you know, the best way to really describe it is is if you were vaping on this and you walked by somebody that had one of those uh, vaporizers that you used to, old school, I know I'm old, shut it, shut it. Uh, when you had those old humidifiers that you could throw like that dollop of Vicks, like vapor rub in a little compartment and it got that with the humidification, humidification, yeah. Uh, that's what it would that's what it almost exactly feels like to me is I'm getting that mango and everything it's not as intense as the original non ice version and I just kind of walk through a, just a slight menthol or mentholatum uh. but yeah probably the only line that I could actually sit and continuously vape the ice I, I won't because eventually that cooling effect or whatever's in there with those, there's, I'm just like, okay, everything feels chilled enough. I'm good. Uh, but most I get through maybe three or four vapes and that's it. I'm done. Throw that bottle to the wife, throw it in the trash, give it to somebody that wants to try it, whatever. It just goes away. These, no, these are good. So I, I definitely like the ice line of the fruits. So. But yeah, another good one. So let's, if we can go through the whole line, I would say definitely my number one is is gonna be, it's it's kind of a, I'm gonna go ahead and say grape. It was really good. It's not the best grape I've had. I know. All of TRV crew are gonna have this debate. We always do. Uh, it's not the best grape I had, but it is a good grape. And it's more the candy instead of I think in the fruits line. Uh, mixed berry, or I keep saying mixed. I think it's wild. Anyway, the berry and uh, rose gold are actually kind of a, they're, they're a tie for me. So, uh, and then of course the, the mango would be at the bottom of the list. Not bad. Uh, and definitely finding in an RDA, it tastes way better. It's it's probably it's probably a, a lot of a tie like grape and then all the rest of them That's just how we're gonna we're gonna split it down. We're not gonna do one through five or whatever It's it's grape and then the rest and none of them suck Yeah, that sounds good, right? <laughs> so, uh, but yes, of course, uh, e and B shout out to Rose Gold Ashland She's an amazing individual and a, just a, an amazing supporter to the TRV crew uh, and of course me, Mad Viking. Uh, so want to give her definitely a shout out, give out a shout out to ENB as well. Great company. So far, everything I've tried from them, I haven't thrown anything off to the side and said, nope. So <laughs> some are great, some are good. Uh, a couple are mind blowing, but hey, there we go. And uh, so definitely also check out the rest of the Rising Vapors opinions, because I think we've all had the Gorilla Fruits line now. Remember, 7.30 Central uh, Fridays, and we will uh, be catching you there. And also, we all have the code 15% off. You have Mad Viking 15, Spring 15, Circumcised 15, Circumcise, Circumstance 15, Subaru 15, or TRV Crew 15. Just gives you doesn't go, you know, doesn't mess with anybody. It's just everybody. 15%. So, <laughs> uh, but definitely go check them out. And more than likely, if you're watching this, because you watch all my stuff, you already know to go to ENB. So, just do it. Do it. But that is all I got today for the Gorilla Fruits and, unfortunately, the whole line. I want to thank each and every one of you yet again for coming by to vape the Viking. And I'll check you later.